Hey guys, this is the Duda 2 and this is my video on um, cleaning Yunzi stones. Um, I want to make a disclaimer here that it's real important that this is only used for Yunzi stones. You don't want to do this with your slate and shell and I'm pretty sure you don't want to do this with your plastic or probably any other type of stones. Maybe glass would be okay. Um, the reason being that Yunzi stones are slightly porous which means um, they're a stone type material and they absorb um, some of the oils that we talk about uh, in the video. So uh, that's why oiling your stones is ideal for Yunzi and you gotta use different methods for um, uh, the other type of stones. Uh, what you need to oil your Yunzi stones, if you look over here, my lovely wife is doing the video recording. Um, you need your stones. What you need is a, a type of oil that is um, non-alcoholic. Um, non uh, if you're reading ingredients on this, it's, it's just oil. It's, you want a clear oil that doesn't have any alcohol in it or any type of corrosive acid or anything like that. Um, machine oil, some machine oils work good. This is a clear stainless sewing machine oil. The reason it's clear stainless is because it's um, it's water based. Uh, it's very light. It's not thick. You don't want um, like WD-40 or anything like that because they'll uh, they'll discolor your stones. They'll kind of eat it up a little bit and they'll screw with your bowls too. Um, so I recommend the sewing machine oil, clear stainless. You can get it any place, you know, Walmart or something like that. Um, you need a couple couple uh, sheets of paper towel. You need a nice working area. Um, you're going to need a Ziploc bag and a type of a strainer. Now, uh, the oils from your hands, when you, when you play Go, the oils from your hands are naturally absorbed in the stones. So my stones are getting a good amount of uh, play uh, at our Go Club. So they're not in terrible need of this. I'm doing this more for you guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take maybe 10 of each and do it, and then I'll give you a comparison of how much shinier and nicer uh, they look compared to uh, you know, the non-just polished ones. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take your stone. Uh, normally, I would recommend doing only white and only black uh, first. Um, process will probably take around an hour, hour and a half, so it's a bit time consuming. Let's do it. Two, four, six, seven, two, six, seven. Seven of each. What you want to do is come over here. Obviously I can completely wet. Uh, when they come fresh from the place. They're covered in a fine powder. So um, you want the powder, what the powder does is it, for shipping, the powder keeps them from scratching each other. But when you, uh, you want to get the powder off as quick as you can because it's not really good for your hands. And uh, well that's pretty much the main reason you don't need it anymore because they're not going to be banged around as much. Um, basically because there's no oil or anything on them as of right now, uh, it's no big deal uh, just throwing them on a regular towel. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rub them so that they're dry. Uh, it's important that they get totally dry because uh, once you add the oil, you don't want the water to mix with the oil and dilute it even more. Okay. Um, so we'll show you this process here. It's pretty dry. And once they're dry, what you want to do you want to add them in the Ziploc bag. Actually, I got a better Ziploc bag right here. Um, you can get a, a giant, uh, giant bag, and you could do all your whites at once, all your blacks at once. What I'm doing is I'm individually drying them, and it's hard to see on the white whether they're dry or not. You kind of have to hold it up to the light, but the black, every little spot you can see. Um, it's also important to do this in a pretty well lit area. Actually, if you left them out to dry, 
they dry pretty fast. I think it has to do with the, the porous material of the skin of the stones. Okay. So what you're going to want to do on a huge full batch, you want to add 8 to 12 drops. Okay. On uh, this small amount, I'm only going to add maybe 5 or 6 drops. Um, this has a neat little container. It pops out like this. So you can, I'm guessing, get into the funky places. But uh, I'm just going to add a couple drops here. said you want to do maybe the whole batch at once or half a batch, okay? So you'll use a bigger bag. Um, but uh, if you wanted to add a type of scent um, to the stones, you can go to Bath and Body Works, uh, Yankee Candle, any place that will sell an all-natural scent. Again, you don't want anything with alcohol. So uh, if you were, would buy like an oil, you want to buy an oil that's clear, stainless, and it's simply made of the product of the scent that you want. You don't want any type of alcohol or chemically enhanced perfume or anything like that. You want all natural oils. Um, so now that these are very well uh, oiled, what we're going to do is we're going to pour them out on your paper towel. Like such. Set this on the side. Now you can see the, I mean, major shininess glare on here, okay? And then this time-consuming part, you want to polish them. So what I do is I usually take a couple, usually, I'll, I'll do the whites first. I'll put them all, because I'm using my single convex, so they're a little easier on one side at least. Make them all flat, rub the bottom. Flip them so that the convex, the rounded part is on the bottom, and you're going to get just the top. Okay, and then you're going to turn it uh, at this angle so you can get the extra. Digging it in. Give it one quick around. Then you got to be careful because you'll get them on your fingers and you're retransferring them to your stones. Here. Now, leaving a little bit on is not a big deal. You don't want to leave a lot on because uh, you don't want too much oil because it could affect your bowls. So, move as quick as I can here. This is a practiced hand. This is probably my fourth or fifth oiling of my single and double stone. So, you'll probably move a little slower the first couple times. There's no real rush if you got a lot of time. Uh, just make sure you set aside an hour or more uh, to do a good job of these stones. And then uh, we'll start on the black. Now the black is where you see the most obvious uh, difference. And once again, I'll give you a nice comparison uh, after. But uh, nothing looks nicer than some polished stones. All your hard work pays off very nice, uh, especially with these black stones, because you really see a big difference. Uh, with the shiny. And again, for the uh, convenience of time and because they really don't need it yet, I'm um, just doing a smaller batch. Normally you want to do the whole the whole set. And uh, I'm almost done here and then we'll do a comparison. And I'll do a quick recap for you. 
Um, good idea to do these on paper towels because you could see the oil come off on the paper towels. And um, even though it's clear stainless, it's probably not that good of an idea to do the oiling part on any type of towels because depending upon the material of the towel, you don't want to take any chances. You stain it, your wife or mom or girlfriend might kick your butt. So we don't want anything like that. And then what I do is when you're done, flip them all on their flat side and then give them a quick dab just to make sure anything is lingering. Left over. So now we have uh, some polished stones. Let's set these on uh, these over here. Okay. I picked this towel because of the different colors. You can get a, a decent idea of uh, what we're talking as far as looks. So I'm going to put them on here. And then uh, right here, we'll, we'll give you a nice presentation here. Get some black ones up here. Get the white ones up here. Comparison, um, this should give you an idea here. I'll put a couple of these on there next to these. So you can see uh, you know, the polished one have a little nicer luster, but it is a little harder to tell on the white. But it's not so hard to tell with the blacks. Um, you can see uh, these bottom couple here. Like you could point out the nicely uh, oiled ones you know, quite a bit over the other ones. Um, another little tip is when you get all your stones out of your bowls, um, you can do a nice water wipe down um, on the inside and any wood polishing things. Um, you could just polish the outside of the wood, uh, you know, with it. You don't probably don't want to polish the inside unless you wipe it really, really good because again, uh, you're not going to understand how well uh, the wood polish is going to mess with your oiled stones. So a good wood polish on the outside, maybe a very basic wood polish on the inside. Um, you're mostly looking at the outside anyway, and you want the inside to be durable. So um, that's it. I, I hope, hope this is helpful. Um, again, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, ask them. If you have any criticisms, uh, you can shoot them my way too. I, I don't mind. I got thick skin. so. Um, that's about it for this video. Um, I got a couple neat ideas in the works for future videos. I got uh, some new Drosecchia I've been working on. Um, I'm thinking maybe a part two of my uh, good and bad shapes. It's, it seems to be uh, pretty popular. And that's about it. Um, thank you guys. Keep subscribing and uh, keep giving me your input. We'll make this a good go channel for everybody. Have a good day. Thank you.